This video is available in multiple languages. Choose your preferred language from the settings and select the audio track you prefer. Here we go. Finally, Adobe Firefly Video Generator is available to the public. I have a premium account to test it out, so you don't have to waste your free credits, money, or time generating ridiculous AI videos. If you're into AI videography for filmmaking or creating engaging social media content, this video is a must-watch. I'll demonstrate its features, walk you through the prompts, and show you the results, all in a quick and easy way. So let's get started. Part 1, Getting Started. If you already know how to use Firefly, you can skip this chapter and move on to the next one. But if you're new to Firefly, let me quickly guide you through how to access it and use its basic features. Go to the Adobe Firefly website. You can find the link in this video's description. Click the sign-in button and continue with your email, Google, or Facebook account. To generate an AI video using Firefly, go to the Video tab and select Text to Video. Enter your video prompt in the prompt bar and click Generate to start creating your AI video. Here is the result from Firefly's AI Text to Video feature. Now, let's try Adobe Firefly's Image to Video feature. First, click the Upload button to upload your first image, which will be used as the first frame of your video. You can also add a second image for the last frame, but this step is optional. After that, click the Generate button to create an AI video from your image. Here is the result from this section. Part 2, Camera Shot Size. 1. Extreme Close-Up. A shot that frames a subject very closely, focusing on small details like the eyes or lips. This helps capture intense emotions or highlight an object with deep significance. 2. Close-Up. A technique that brings objects into focus with more detail. Perfect for drawing attention to a character's face, a hand holding a glass, or any key subject. 3. Medium Shot. One of the most commonly used shots, framing the subject from the waist up. This allows the audience to see expressions, gestures, and actions clearly. 4. Long shot. A full-body shot that places the subject in its environment, showing how they interact with the world around them. 5. Extreme long shot. A wide shot that makes the subject appear small compared to the background, often used for landscapes, cityscapes, or to establish a scene's scale. Part 3, Camera Angle. 1. Aerial or Drone Shot. Once done with helicopters, now done with drones. This shot offers a sweeping cinematic view, often used in film openings or scene transitions. 2. Eye Level Shot, a natural perspective where the camera is positioned parallel to the subject, making it feel like the audience is looking at them directly. 3. High Angle Shot, a shot taken from above, making the subject appear smaller, weaker, or more vulnerable. 4. Low angle shot. The opposite. Filming from below makes the subject look stronger, more powerful, and dominant. 5. Top-down shot. A 90-degree overhead shot that reveals layouts, movement, or creates a unique visual perspective. Part 4. Camera motion. 1. Zoom in out. Zooming draws attention to details or creates dramatic focus shifts, adding energy to a scene. 2. Pan. Move left, right. A horizontal camera movement that reveals a scene or follows a subject, often used to establish a location. 3. Tilt up, down. A vertical movement that introduces characters or settings. Tilting down creates depth, while tilting up adds a sense of scale. 4. Handheld shot. A dynamic, raw filming style that adds natural camera shake, making scenes feel more intense or immersive. 5. Static shot. A still, locked-off shot where the camera doesn't move. Often used for emphasis, stability, or a sense of stillness in a scene. Do you think Adobe Firefly Video Generator is better than Sora, Kling, Luma, or Runway ML? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching this Firefly AI Video Generator tutorial. For more AI video guides, visit my channel. See you there!